Hello everyone, I am Dr. Shimoni Kadakya and I am a Dermatologist, Cosmetologist and Trichologist from Mumbai working at my clinic Skinovation and today I am here to discuss about hair fall and hair loss. A commonest complaint today that all of us face is of hair fall. So let's discuss today about the causes of hair fall and the measures to deal with it. So what exactly is hair fall? We perceive it in a very different way but technically hair fall means falling of 50 to 70 hairs per day which is considered as normal hair fall rate. So to have some amount of hair falling in a day is absolutely normal and it is important for you to know that up to 50 to 70 hairs falling a day is not considered as significant hair fall. When your count exceeds beyond that that is where you, you start worrying about your scalp and would want to go in for some kind of hair loss treatment. Uh, you need to understand that hair cycle is divided into different phases. So I'll just like to explain the hair cycle to you. There is a growth phase, there is a resting phase and there is a fall phase. And most of us perceive only this phase as what is considered as a problem. So, out of these three phases, the hair goes into different ups and downs and the end part is when it falls and makes place for the new hair root to come and take its position. Uh, coming to the causes of hair fall, well there are various causes of hair fall, the most common being the nutritional deficiency. In a place, in a country like India, all of us have certain kind of nutritional deficiency due to the type of food pattern that we follow. That also can get divided into a vegetarian diet and a non-vegetarian diet. We lack the micronutrients in a vegetarian diet which needs to be supplemented via certain kind of treatments. Now, apart from the nutritional deficiency, the second most commonest cause is going to be stress. All of us have some kind of stress today, be it work related, be it emotional stress, be it physical stress. So these factors are definitely going to take a toll on your scalp and hair. Coming to the medical causes of hair loss or hair fall is when you have a diseased scalp. Out of these diseases, the commonest one that we see in a clinic on a daily basis is dandruff. Dandruff could be of different types, it could be dry dandruff, it could be greasy dandruff. It could also be certain severe conditions of the scalp like psoriasis and seborrheic dermatitis. Uh, there is a condition which is called as trichotillomania where the, where the person has a habit of daily plucking or picking of his hair and they wouldn't come out with that complaint. So there are various causes of hair fall and each one of it is dealt with separately analyzing your cause and then treating it well. So what can one do for management of hair loss? Let's throw some light on that. Well, we can divide the management into two different parts. One is your lifestyle modification and the other is the part that is treated at the clinic. Coming to lifestyle modification, you need to work on your diet, eat the right kind of food which is high in your protein intake, uh, cut down on your carbohydrates, and increase the intake of vitamins and antioxidants via fruits and vegetables. Also maintain a good hydration regimen, drink adequate amount of water in the day and uh, avoid smoking, cut down on alcohol consumption because that also leads to a loosening of the hair roots which can eventually lead to hair fall. Excessive caffeine intake also must be avoided. Also be careful about your uh, sleep cycles, sleep adequately for 6 to 8 hours and exercise regularly with, with, because of which you get a good blood circulation on the scalp and vasodilatation causes more root formation. Firstly visit your dermatologist, get an entire treatment plan done for your hair. If there are any investigations needed in form of certain blood tests, get them done which are very mandatory to know where you lack and that can be supplemented accordingly. Uh, also, there are uh, treatments in, in forms of medicines, certain lotions, creams, serums for the scalp which promote the hair growth, 
which cause formation of new hair roots and follicles and they give strengthening to the roots also they work on the general texture and consistency and luster of the hair uh, there are a lot of other treatments nowadays which are available they are all office procedures can be done very easily without any hassle and they range right from microneedling to a platelet rich plasma therapy which is commonly known as PRP going to and progressing towards hair transplant surgeries so this this is all in all a very rough idea that you must have about your hair but most importantly you have to work on a good protein diet for your hair and scalp thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed the video and you got your certain piece of information do keep watching our videos and like and subscribe to our channel bye bye